Okay, so what were we talking about? I, I don't remember. Okay, I was smoking cigarette, checking my emails. Yes, <laughs> my memory space is wiped out. Okay, and replaced by this checking email and stuff. Okay, so because tomorrow there's this candlelit debate forum. All right, tomorrow's kind of big day. Okay, so. <sighs> So what are you talking about? I have no idea what we were talking about, okay? I'm sorry. I'm just drawing blank. You know, I'm a computer science major in Bachelor of Science degree, okay? Uh, yeah, so memory space, okay, it's kind of temporary space, limited space, okay. It's not long term memory like this hard disk drive back somewhere, okay. Short term memory, okay, so when we receive this new information, checking emails, the previous memory is gone, right? Yeah. So I, I don't remember what we are talking about, okay. I don't recall. What were you talking about? Maybe it uh, back to long term memory, hard disks. Okay. Yeah, in computer science, the short term memory, that's more like electronic. Okay. So when you turn off the computer, it's gone. Unless it's stored back to the hard disk drive, which is magnetic based. Okay. Because electric memory, that's more like voltage, okay? So when you turn off, <laughs> turn the, your computer off, it's all gone, okay? So, yeah. Because power is off, all right? So, yeah, short-term memory in computer, that's like voltage-driven, all right? Zero and one, all right? But hard disk drive, that's magnetic. So it persists, okay? All right. So what was that? What were you talking about? I mean, this footage is all stored in. That's why I save after one hour, okay, so that it gets saved. Because computer or software, it can crash, right? Yeah, so it's still saved. But what were you talking about? Yeah, that's a challenging question. Uh, let's try to record, okay? This that's quite challenging a task. What were we talking about five minutes ago? <laughs> trying to jog on my memory. What were we talking about? Uh, we are not. We want to talk about Beatles or Beach Boys or Bee Gees, Beethoven. Oh yeah, yeah, Joe Biden, okay, ex vice president Joe Biden, okay. Yeah, there's some African American privilege, female privilege, thanks to uh, ideologies, the feminism and BLMism, okay. Yeah, all his VP pick candidates, yeah, they're African American females, okay, so. It's just going along, okay, party line. President Trump going along with the party line. Yeah, it's criticism of President Trump. Now I get it, okay. He, he hates China, right? I love China, okay. He In the news, he said, if Vice President, ex-Vice President Joe Biden get elected, everybody in America should learn uh, Chinese. I mean, this, this, President Trump is anti-China. Why? Because 
he's afraid, he's scared about this Chinese advancement, okay? But I love China, okay? Yeah. I mean, coronavirus, President Trump, he says, China virus. Yeah, it did come from China, okay? Yeah. Yeah, it did. Right, so, coronavirus, maybe President Trump, he didn't think it's fair to call it coronavirus because we have coronavirus, which I really like, is Mexican beer. But President Trump, he hates Mexico too. He hates Mexico, he hates China, okay? What a guy we have. I did vote, I did vote for him, okay, back in 2016. I even prayed for him to get elected, okay? Maybe it's my fault that he got elected, okay? But, I, 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 I like him building the southern border wall, okay? Yeah, I, I like many things that he does, but when it comes to foreign policy, uh, I don't think he's doing the right thing when it comes to foreign policy, okay? Have you seen this footage, like Chinese Summer Olympics, okay? They have this electric roll on scrolling, right? Yeah, the Chinese electronics, okay, like Huawei or some others, okay, uh, they are fantastic because Chinese people, they are very hardworking and law-abiding citizens, very inventive, okay. Yeah, it's Western technology, but they got some Chinese juice to it, okay. I'm not saying America should be just like China or Korea or anywhere else, but we can learn from foreign cultures like Africa, Europe. Latin America, Asia, anywhere else, Middle East, okay? Yeah, we should learn from each other, okay? That will be my foreign policy, okay? I will not be anti-foreign countries like President Trump is. But he's old, President Trump, he's in his 70s, okay? But I still think he's better than ex-Vice President Joe Biden, okay? I look forward to both of them debating, okay, you know, debate stage, like I said before, okay, I, I look forward to it. How would they perform, you know, debate st stage? I look forward to that debate, okay? I hope and pray it will be in person. They may be wearing masks or whatever, okay, whatever. I want them, I want to see them debate, President Trump and Vice President ex-vice president Joe Biden, okay. I'd love to see them be debate. Yeah. I love China, I love Korea, I love Japan, I love Middle East, I love Israel, I love Africa, I love Europe, I love Asia. I love every country there are. They have my foreign, foreign policy. I mean, just learning from other countries, okay, their wisdom, okay, but yeah, they got something wrong, then we reject it. If they got something right, we learn from them, and we're not going to take it at face value. We'll adapt and adjust to our own American culture. No problem, okay. Pizza, Italian cuisine, spaghetti. It was not always mainstream in America, okay. Some Italians back in the days, because I read, ma I read many books, okay, biographies, memoirs, okay. Back in the days, Italians in America, they used to be despised. Oh, you're gangbang, oh, yeah, you're mafia, right? We're kind of brown, you're like, you're not Caucasians, right? So some Italians back in the days, they used to be uh, despised in America, okay? Yeah, English, this Caucasian, this white people with blue eyes and blonde hair, red hair, green eyes, white skin, pink skin, red skin, okay. Yeah, back in the days, yeah, Italians with brown skin, brown eyes, black hair, they were not regarded very highly back in the days, like 200 years ago in America, okay. So when these Italian children's moms and pops cooked, Italian cuisine, like pizza, spaghetti, lasagna. It was not received very well because Italians, they were not po mainstream popular.
people in America, okay? They were not. I know because I read books, right? But today, in the year 2020, in America, pizza, lasagna, all this Italian cuisine, Trojan cuisine is highly, highly prized. Main, very much mainstream, okay? But 100 years ago, it was not like that, okay? It was ridiculed. Pizza was ridiculed. Lasagna, pasta, very much ridiculed. Okay? How about hamburger? Isn't it like German? Like Hamburg, hamburger. It's a kind of transliteration from Hamburg to hamburger. It's a kind of Americanized, right? I guess it's from Germany. I don't know. Hot dog. I mean, it's not dog meat. I mean, in Korea, Japan, China, yeah, in Asia, Far East Asia, they eat dogs, okay, but hot dog. So I looked it up. How, how did this name this come from? How did this name come from? Hot dog. It's not a dog meat, it's beef or pork or chicken, okay. Yeah, it's this long, this sausage, yeah, it looks like dog's hound, dog's hound. German, right? That's how it came about. Hot dog. Dog. Yeah, give me a dog. Hot dog. But it's not dog meat. Like in Far East Asia. China, Korea, Japan. Okay. It's not that. It's dog's hunt. Very thin, long torso, right? Short legs. Okay, yeah. Dog's hunt. Okay. From what I remember, yeah, that's how it, the name came about. Hot dog. Like, Looks like dark hunt, okay. The hound, hound, dark hunt, hunt, hunting dog, okay. Yeah, dark hunt. Yeah, the German dog, okay. It has very short legs, okay. So you can crawl around this all these bush shrubs. It's a hunting dog, okay. Yeah, it's German dog. Okay, dark hunt, very cute. Right, I get it. So, yeah, America is like a first seller in America, okay, they are Asians, okay. I'm not saying this because I'm Asian. Yeah, I am Asian, I love my race, right. I'm just stating the facts, okay. I'm not at being an activist, Asian American rights, okay. I appreciate what they do. That's not what I'm doing. I'm just stating the facts. The four seller in America, they're Asians, okay? Bering Strait, Aleutian Chain, okay? Alaska natives and Canadian natives and American natives. And then Latin American, South American natives, okay? They're all Asians, okay? And then Caucasians came in and African American Africans came in, okay, and then, yeah, the Jews and Arabs, okay, they're all great, okay, I love all the races, all their cuisines, restaurants, some commentators in newspapers, periodicals, they commented that, you know what, I'm not liberal, but I love all this ethnic cuisine, yeah. You have Thai, Thai cuisine, which is fantastic. Vietnamese pho, or Thai, this uh, Thailand, this curries and Indian curries, and Hispanic this salsa, you have kimchi, Korean or Japanese noodles, like ramen noodles or udons or Chinese cuisine. That's fantastic, right? You have Italian cuisine. You have this Greek Mediterranean cuisine and you have Russian cuisine and it's all great. Yeah. French baguette. I, I speak some French, okay. Comment talebu, Sarabian, okay. I, I I don't know too much Italian, yeah, but when it comes to Russian or Ukrainian, yeah. Oh 
Господин. Я. I just want to for now, okay? Hey, French. Yeah, see you play, please. If you please. Come on, Saba. Saba, bien. Si. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. How about some Spanish? Oh, yeah. Uh, how do you say thank you in Spanish? Uh, how do you say thank you in Spanish? I don't recall. It's been a while, okay? How do you say thank you in sp Spanish? I'm sure you probably know, okay? How do you say thank you for Spanish? I don't recall. I'm drunk. I know how to say thank you in uh, Russian, Ukrainian, okay? Yes, спасибо. Thank you very much. Bonjour is possible. But how do you say thank you in Spanish? I'm ashamed, okay. How do you say thank you in Spanish? Oh, oh yeah, obrigado. Yeah, I'm obligated. Obrigado. Yeah, I, now I. How do you say thank you very much in Spanish? Obrigado mucho. Yes. Muchas abrigado. Something mucho abrigado. Muchas abrigado. Okay. How do you say thank you in uh, Japanese? It's like arigato gozaimasu. Okay. How do you say thank you in Korean? Yeah, gomasunida. Right. How do you say thank you in Chinese? Xie xie. I think. How do you say thank you in Arabic? How do you say you're welcome in Arabic? I think it's Afwan. So how do you say thank you in Arabic? Shukran, shukran. How do you say thank you very much in Arabic? Yeah, shukran kazalan or shukran jazalan, right? I know many foreign languages, okay, so yeah, I'm still learning some foreign languages, okay. Because I'm a huge fan of all these foreign languages, okay. I'm still learning, right? Yeah. It's all beautiful, okay. Some friends of mine told me how to say thank you in Greek. <laughs> it was very difficult to pronounce, okay? So I had to practice a couple of times, okay? And now I don't remember, okay? So, yeah. 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 I'm still learning, okay? Foreign languages. I have huge appreciation of foreign languages, all different cultures, okay? President Trump is all about America, okay? I'm not. If I'm the President of the United States, you will, you will not be all about America. You will not be all about me or America, no. We will humble ourselves. I will lead by example, okay? We should learn, start learning from all these foreign cultures, foreign languages. Yes, Chinese, Japanese, Korean, Greeks, Spanish, German, Swahili in Africa. Yeah, we should learn Russian, Ukrainian, and Japanese, Indonesian, and French, Spanish, Portuguese, Italian, and different Pacific Islanders and our own American Indians, natives, like Yupik, like Alaskan native language like Yupik, Inupiat, 
like uh, Athabascans in Alaska, we have many different tribes, okay, all different languages, okay, like Aida, Kwa 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 Kawaku, there's like more Canadian side, but Aida and uh, Inupiat, you pick Athabascan and all these Alaskan natives, like, uh, yeah, Knik Knik. Yeah, knik or knik knik kwa kwa what whatever okay so kwa 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 yeah like Ida and yeah yeah or like Apache Chinook <laughs> Black Hawk okay there's three helicopters in the U.S. Army where I was working on okay yeah we got a lot to learn like Apache yeah we got a lot to learn okay so. From foreign languages, foreign countries, or American natives, Alaskan natives, okay? We got a lot to learn. That's what I promote. Okay? Humble ourselves, okay? Learn from other languages, other cultures, okay? Other countries. You know, Chinese, they make this screen TV, big screen TV, I read in the news today. Okay? Transparent. Big screen TV, okay? Yeah, it's just Chinese, they're. they're very interesting people, okay? I Chinese Kung Fu, that's my favorite, okay? So, I, I will not be like <laughs> ex-vice president Joe Biden or President Trump, okay? Huh. One week from now is Alaska primary election. Final day, we have early votes, absentee ballots, okay? Yeah, I voted for other candidates, all of them, and not myself, right? Why? I wanted to show them my love, their candidacy, their campaign, okay? They, I know them, okay? They're my friends, okay? But I'm also running for United States president because I believe that I can do better than all of them combined, okay? Yeah, I'm drunk, so what? I don't drink when I'm at work. I drink, I start drinking when I'm at home. If I'm the president of the United States, I will only do 40 hours a week, Monday to Friday, 8 to 5, one hour lunch break. Maybe 15 hours, I mean, not hours, 15 minutes in the morning, 15 minutes in the afternoon, union break, okay? So what? I will stay 30 minutes later, okay? Like 5.30, then I'm gone. Whatever. We'll take five minutes break, okay? I hope you are you are being entertained, okay? I hope and pray you are being entertained. Right? Yeah, I'm drunk, but I know my cards, okay? Yeah, Chinese martial arts style, chicken style, drunken master, whatever. Yeah, I learned that stuff, okay? So Yeah. Let's take five minutes break, okay? I still, I will start cooking my dinner because I'm kind of getting hungry, okay? We'll take 10 minutes break, all right?
Yeah. Yeah, I'm always mindful of whether my zipper in my pants are closed, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> but a healthcare course is a long project, okay, yeah, it's my simple so simple solution, yeah, diet and exercise, that's it, okay. So when it comes to this complicated stuff, we'll talk about it later, okay? It's a big subject. It's, it's like you know what? When I was in graduate school in Cornell University doing computational biology, I dropped out after two years, okay? Because I it was too much for me, okay? When I was in Special Forces training, I dropped out at two weeks, okay? It was too much for me, okay? When I was in uh, Seoul, South Korea, science high school, elitist, very competitive, okay? I got in, I dropped out at two months, okay? So when it comes to, come to this healthcare problem, in my simplest solution, yeah, diet and exercise, that's it, okay? Strengthen your immune system, personal hygiene, social distancing, okay? That's it, all right? Other than that, uh, I'm not gonna talk about it before I get elected. One week from now. One week from now, if I get elected, we'll talk about it, okay? But before that, I will not do it, okay? Because I don't get paid for doing that. If I get elected, we'll talk about it, okay? Even if I don't get elected, yeah, we may talk about it. Why? It's intellectually challenging question, okay? You insurance company, big pharma, you have government, taxpayers, and all these uh, patients who need some health care, okay? It's a big project to talk about, okay? So we have to go back to the foundation, basics, all right? It's a multivariate, multivariate environment, multivariate function, okay? Multi, multiple variables, all right? But give me one week, okay? Until this election is over, primary election is over, okay? Then we'll sit back, okay? We'll relax, we have more time, okay? Because between, after this one week, primary election and general election in November, two, two months from then, we have time, whether I elect or not. We'll talk about it, okay? Without you, like, you don't know. Because it is, it is intellectually challenging question, okay? So we'll do it. We love challenges. But it's a big project, okay? So whether I win or not, we'll talk about it, okay? So just, but not this week. Give me one week, all right? Because before this primary election, I'm just too busy. I want to relax when I'm at home. Okay. But I can give you some blueprint, right? Scheme out things. Yeah, in humanity, we do. We love dualism. Okay. Yeah, private sector versus public sector. Okay. Private sector they're motivated by money. Public sector. Uh, they are like they get paid anyway, right? So I I was an employee in public sector too, several times. Okay, yeah. So I've been employed as in public sector as well, right? Big corporation, small companies. Yeah. So I know the difference. Okay. So public sector, uh, they kind of laid back. Okay, they get paid anyway. But public private sector, I they. Are uh, profit seeking? They are not non profit, I guess. Yeah, they are non profits too, okay? So public sector, private sector, and non profits, okay? Kind of three components in our society, right? But private sector, they have to make money to pay the bills, to pay their employees, to pay, pay for their families, okay? But governmental, this public sector, they get paid anyway, right? Unless they do something very wrong. I work both in private sector, public sector. I have never worked in non-profit sector, okay? NGO, non-governmental organization. I never worked for them, okay? They're cool, all right? I mean, I got some benefit from NGOs when I was uh, in homeless shelter in Los Angeles, California, in New York, New York, okay? Yeah, I was a runaway child, okay? 
once or twice or thrice okay yeah i tell you i can tell you about that later okay yeah i ran away from home school in south south korea came to america okay yeah NGO, they are cool, okay? This non-profit organization, they are fantastic. Right? I appreciate public sector, private sector, NGO, okay? Because I did interact with them in my 40 years of life, okay? So in these political meetings, if they give me one minute to summarize 40 years of my life in one minute, it's a challenge, okay? In this political survey, you want me to summarize my four decades of my life in 100 words? That's a challenge, right? But I did that. Why? I love the challenges. So I met the challenge, okay? I, I did so. By now, I know how to do so. Okay? Right. Let's call it a night, okay? So I got a big day tomorrow, okay? And my dinner is ready. I microwaved my fat-free milk dinner leftover <laughs> so i'm ready to eat okay so all right thank you good night bye